welcome back. Today I am super excited because we are going to be talking about the brand new foundation from Sharon C. This is exclusive only to Walmart. I did pick this up in three different shades because I was honestly not sure what shade I was going to be. But first, if you haven't already, please go hit that subscribe button. You will get three brand new videos from me every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you are new here to my channel, I would like to introduce myself. I am Stephanie. I do all things beautiful. I do hair, makeup, nails, get ready with me, shop with me, get unread with me, all that types of stuff. So if you do like that kind of content, just make sure to go hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so that you're notified every time that I upload a video. And with no further ado, let's get on to talking about this brand new foundation. Okay guys, so we are going to be talking today about the UOMA Sharon C Beauty Foundation. It looks just like this. It does come with a pump, which is nice and appreciated. I am on Walmart's website right here. I'm just going to read a little description about what this says. It says foundation, serum, moisturizer, or beauty balm, question mark. It says ding ding, it's all of the above. It says available in 30 shades with six custom formulations, each supercharged with skin loving ingredients for your skin's unique needs. Lightweight, buildable, velvety foundation melts into your skin, creating the perfect canvas with a soft focus blurring effect that diminishes pores and fine lines, giving you a real skin finish. And it looks like your skin with a radiant plus little bit of glow. With that being said, when I did see this foundation, it was on an cap at my Walmart. The woman was still putting the lip products from this line out. I did only pick up foundation. Um, the part that says that it was a soft focus blurring effect is what sold me because I do have larger pores and anything that says soft focus and blurring, I'm all for it. I did get the three lightest shades here. This retails for $15, so each of these are $15. I did get the T3, T2, and T1, three lightest shades. I wasn't honestly sure which shade I would be. This is a glass frosted bottle that is not hard plastic. Um, and this one here is T2. I was pretty sure this is my shade and honestly what I have on right now. And it does match me pretty well, actually. When I first put it on, it looked a little white, but once it's set, I think that it is, I think that it did oxidize a little bit. So. That did help but if this wasn't my shade this is why I bought the other two I knew the first shade was gonna be totally too light for me um, I do have a little bit of actually have a lot of Sun I've been letting my son play outside and just laying out in the Sun so I did honestly get the first shade to go with the third shade just because this one looked a tidbit dark and I wasn't sure if I was going to mix these two if this guy here didn't work and I know that's a lot you shouldn't have to buy three foundations but $15 for one of these is at a higher price point for a drugstore, but it is still in the drugstore range. So yes, it is a high price to be at Walmart, but then you have that e.l.f. I think it's that CC cream and it's $16. So it's right there with that. And this is what it is looking like, you guys. And I'm gonna do about a 10 to 12 hour wear test with this. Also, if you would like to see how this applied, I did do a brush and a sponge. If one side was better than the other, one side hid more of my pores or showed more texture of any of that, then just continue to keep watching and we will get right onto applying this foundation. Okay, you guys, so I chose to use the color T2. I do have the T3 and the T1. I already knew, like I said before, that this one is going to be too light, but I wasn't sure if I was going to need to mix it. So, but I am going to go with T2 and just see if that works. Really white. So that's exactly why I got the T3, just in case I needed to mix, but we're going to make this work. I am going to do half of my face with my Sigma F80 flat kabuki brush. Looks just like this, you guys. And then the other half with my Haley's beauty sponge. So I'm going to start off and use a brush. I just want to see if the brush side is going to give me more coverage, if it's going to make my texture look any better or worse. We're going to see if my pores look any bigger or smaller. So brush and the sponge. Now I am going to just dot this. You guys, this is T2. So if you're like twinsies with me, 
I would definitely probably just go with T3. It looks dark in the bottle, but this looks so white. But I'm going to make this work. So on this side, just going to go ahead and blend it. Oh yeah, it's super. And this is T2, you guys. So if you are like twinsy shades with me, I would definitely go with T3 if you don't want to have to buy three like me. I had no clue because in the bottle, you really can't tell. And this is not going on the smoothest with a brush. I mean, a brush is obviously not my favorite anyway. I don't, I don't like to use brushes. Um, if I'm using like a tinted moisturizer per se, I don't mind, but brushes you usually are not my favorite. It doesn't look bad and this does have a slight like perfume scent to it. Okay, not bad, not bad. I did get medium coverage with a brush. So now with the sponge side, I'm just going to go ahead and go in and see. So next time, honestly, I don't think I'm going to have to mix anything. I'm just going to go in with my T3. Especially right now, this is like so white. I can't imagine what the first shade looks like, the T1. So I'm getting a little lighter coverage with the um, sponge. You can see that right there. But it's okay. It says it's buildable. And it says it's a medium to full, so just the pins. <laughs> Lately, I have honestly just been using powder foundation just because it's been really hot outside and it's fast and it stays on all day. So I've really been loving doing that, which is weird. I don't know. When I was at Walmart, it said that it has less transfer. I don't know. But that's how that looks right there with the sponge. So this is the sponge side, you guys, and this is the brush side. Obviously, the brush side got a little bit more coverage, but I didn't really get coverage around my nose, which is weird. But I am going to go on with the second layer just for the sake of the video. And the shade is not bad once it's on, but I could use the T3. But like I said, I'm going to just go back in with that same shade and see if we can build this up. And right around my nose is red, so I'm going to put some there. And I am just going to use my sponge. Even though I got fuller coverage on the um, brush side, the sponge side looked more flawless, if that makes sense. Like, both sides look good, don't get me wrong, but the sponge side just looked, I don't know, less textured, I guess. I think, honestly, anyway, that's why I always use a sponge, because usually that's the case for me. Is that the sponge will make any kind of foundation look less textured especially with my textured skin so but I'm just gonna see if this is buildable it says that it is so kind of see I haven't really been building up foundations lately either just because the more you put on your face you guys the more cakey stuff can start to be but that is the second layer. I'm not going to go in with a third or add any more. Um, I do agree that it is medium coverage. You even build it up. I still feel like it's high medium. I don't feel like I got... I don't honestly feel like I got full coverage. Because like right here I can still see hyperpigmentation. And I did build it up. So I think you can get a good high medium out of this foundation. And like I said, it does have a slight perfumey scent. But it's not bad. So I don't know. It's bunching up on my nose weird. I don't know if you can see that. But right there, I don't know, I'm not liking that. Okay. This is the brush side, you guys, and this is the sponge side. At first, the brush side does give a little bit more coverage, but the sponge side gives a more skin-like, flawless finish, if that makes sense. This one here had a little bit more texture, even though it had more coverage. And this one had less texture, but I had to build it up. But it did look more flawless. So, to me, I mean, you could go either way. I just prefer a sponge. I did try it with a brush. Either way is not bad, but I think it's more flawless with a sponge. So, looking like skin, I don't know about that, but it's not bad. Like, I can tell I have foundation on, but it's not cakey or looking dry or anything like that. And it does have a slight glow, like they say. 
So with all that being said, I'm going to finish my makeup off camera and come back and tell you my thoughts. Okay guys, so I am back. I have finished putting my makeup on. This is what the skin is looking like. And of course, everything on my face I'll leave listed in the description box down below. Um, but focusing on the foundation, this is what the skin looks like. My bronzer, my blush, my highlighter went over the foundation just fine. So yep, that's what it is looking like right now. I think it does look fresh. It looks nice. It looks pretty. Um, I'm going to do probably maybe just like two check-ins just because it's a new foundation and I like to show how it wore on my combination slash oily slash large pores slash textured skin. So I'm going to check in in about six hours and then I'll check in again before I wash this face and go to bed. But for right now it is beautiful and I do agree that it is medium to high medium is what I personally got so I wasn't going to build it up anymore but yep I will see you guys in about six hours okay you guys so this is chicken number one I did have to change my shirt I have been outside playing with my son it is super hot out there I swear but this is what the Sharon C foundation looks like it has been six and a half hours actually I have been outside I have been in the sun I have been playing with my son it doesn't look bad for what it is I'm a little bit oily right here and up here but not bad at all actually some foundations leave me a lot oilier than this it has a worn off if you can see right here on my chin just a little bit and on my nose I haven't been anywhere wearing any mask or anything like I said I was just outside playing with my son so I'll probably rub my face or whatnot but so far so good for $15 and like I said this is exclusive only to Walmart but right now it still looks very nice I would say even though there is a little bit of wear off which is not bad so I'm going to check in one more time, you guys, before I wash this face, give you a really good close-up, and tell you my thoughts about this foundation and if it's worth your $15. Okay, guys, so I have had this Oma foundation on for 12 and a half hours. This is what we are looking like close up. It has wore off up here on my nose, a little bit on my chin. Um, I really, I played outside today with my son. I didn't have on a mask or anything, but as you can see up close, it doesn't look bad, and it didn't look bad throughout the day. I mean, like I said, it wore off. It didn't sink into any of my pores or any fine lines or anything like that. Didn't make my texture look bad or um, anything like that. Do I think it smoothed over my pores? I do. I think it had a little blurring effect to it. Um, after 12 and a half hours, I honestly think it wore very well for what it is. Do I think it's worth $15? Sure, yes, I do. Um, it's not a bad foundation. Um... And yeah, that's my thoughts on that. So I'm glad I purchased it and I hope you enjoyed this video. I also hope that it helped. And as always, I will see you in my next one. Bye.